What up everybody, it's the Champagne Poppy, back again with another deck profile, and today, I got y'all my version 2, the updated Lunar Light deck. So basically, I went to my locos, they hooked me up with the new Lunar Light cards from the Circuit Break, Circuit Break um, Booster set. And now we got full power Lunar Lights, so let's get into this deck profile, shall we? Straight up, best Lunar Light in the deck. Triple Kaleido chick. I'm glad she finally came to the TCG. It took her long enough. But anyway, Kaleido chick is really cool. She's the new gal of the deck. And basically, when she is normal summon or special summon, what well, it doesn't really matter. It's basically you just use her effect and send a... Mostly, you can send any Lunalite from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard and its name become that. Mostly, you're going to send... Lunalite, um, Panther Dancer, or Cat Dancer to Grave to get her effects off, which is, she speeds up the deck a whole lot, and makes where you don't need to run Fusion Tag anymore. Next, the new, other new Lunalite gal we're running, to Crimson Fox. Crimson Fox, basically when she is sent to the grave due to a card effect, <coughs> Polymerization, you get the, one of your opponent's monsters' effects gets negated, and their attack becomes zero. And she's really good. And I only feel like you need her at two. You don't need three. Two's just perfectly fine for her. Now with our old Lunamite monsters. We run the blue cat. You know, you all know what blue cat is. When it's uh, special summon. Double attack of a Lunamite. Except this card. And when it's destroyed by battle. You can special summon a Lunamite from deck. And you can also bring out a Lunamite blue cat. Again. If she is attacked. Which is really good. Next we tr play triple black sheep. Black Sheep is the one you pitch to the grave, add a polymerization to hand, or if it's used in a fusion summon, you get to add, act, add back that fusion material to hand, or back to your extra deck, which is really cool. Next, we play Triple Lunalite White Rabbit, basically the monster reborn of the deck, basically when she's normal summon, special summon a Lunalite from grave. Next, we play two Butterflies. And Butterfly, all she does is make one of your Lunar Lights gain a thousand attack. On to the Pendulum Lunar Lights. We play Triple Tiger. So Tiger basically is a monster reborn too in the Pendulum scale. So basically, when you have it in scale, you can draw Vi back when your Lunar Lights in Grey, which combos well with Kaleido Chick. Also, its effect allows you the add back card when it's destroyed by battle, add back uh, Lunar Light onto the field, you know. So it's really good. It's the high scale of deck. Next for our low scale, I still believe you only need two wolves because three is cloggy. Two is perfectly good for me because it ain't really searchable. But anyway, we don't like wolf. Basically, pendulum's effect is it's a miracle fusion for lunar lights, and also when it's on the field with all your lunar lights get piercing damage, which is really cool. So yeah, that's the monster lineup of the deck. On to the spells. Straight up, you gotta play. Triple polymerization because you need to go into your fusions and you just need that. Also, we play triple fusion recovery just so we can add back um, a polymerization and um, a monster from our grave to hand again. Also, we play triple fire formation tanky just because everything's a beast warrior and we can search out every single wound light except wolf. Next, I play triple potter greed. Make this a lower darkness. I can't afford a lower darkness right now, but put in a lower darkness because it's five dollar pop and stuff. You know my reasons. And also, I'll play the one dark hole for board wipes. Onto the traps, we play triple reincarnation dance. When a lunar light is destroyed by a battle or card effects, add two lunar lights with different names to hand, and it's just a really good card in general to help set up. Next, I also play triple mirror force for protection in case. I gotta go first. So yeah, this is the main deck, 40 cards exactly. Onto the extra deck. The extra deck didn't change at all from the last video. Basically you run Triple Cat Dancer, Triple Panther, and Double Leo Dancer. Main Moon Light Fusions of the deck. And I'll also play the one Star Venom Fusion Dragon if I ever can go into him. For the XCs we play Shining Elf. Dante, number 52, 
360 No Scope Castell, Clutch Master Dark Rebellion, and the underrated card himself, number 101 Silent Honor Arc. So yeah, this is my Lunar Light deck profile, version 2, first ver version 2, or update deck of mine, to be posted on the channel. Stay tuned for the dual videos with this deck coming in the future, because I gotta get on recording that, you know? You know? Y'all wanted this up deck up? You wanted me to update this deck? And now you want the duels? But, you got the deck profile, just wait for the duels. So anyway, I'm the Champagne Poppy, signing out. And until next time, bye.